Hi, my name's Kay. I'm one of the intensive care doctors, and I'm going to go through the micro skill of anchoring. So, along with aspirating with one hand as you advance, I think anchoring is actually probably um, up there with one of the most important micro skills. So, you've done all your hard work, you're in the vessel, you can see it on your um, ultrasound machine, you've got blood back in your syringe. Now, what are you going to do? So, you normally start off in this position, you're going to drop the probe immediately, and then you're going to anchor. And this is what we mean by anchoring holding your needle tip in position so that you can disconnect the syringe and then start threading your guide wire. I see it done many, many a wrong way, but what you really want to be doing is you want to be grabbing the needle hub with your thumb and your index finger and then literally getting as much of the surface of your hypothenar eminence or the ulnar border of your hand on the patient somewhere, just on a steady surface. And the whole purpose of this is that we should be able to move the patient move the bed, the patient might move accidentally, but we move with the patient and the needle won't move out of position. And you can see here, I can still aspirate with the needle in. So that hasn't moved. Then after that, you're obviously gonna disconnect your needle. Don't do this. I see a lot of people doing this, holding it with their thumb and index finger correctly, but then there's no other attachment of their hand to something that's attached to the patient solid. So like I said, when you're anchoring your needle, you should be able to move your hand, really hit your hand, but the needle doesn't move. For those of you that have ever played pool or something like that before, it's almost as if you're making a bridge hand um, for when you're taking a shot. So again, thumb and index finger on the needle hub, as much of the surface of your ulnar border, your hypothenar eminence, on the patient with your fingers spread out. You want to create a steady base.